morning everybody danny stories here coming to you live from this mobile podcast studio in toronto canada today i turned the camera around because today's message is sincere no it's not about football aka soccer aka caucho aka fuji ball nothing like that it's not it's about our true loves it's about the most important lady in our life the first most important lady in our life It's about our moms. Please. Yesterday was Mother's Day. To all the mothers that are gone now, that passed away already, that that aren't around. My my prayers to you, 100%. To any friends of mine on YouTube that have lost a mother or, you know, or the mothers are in rough shape or they're getting older now or whatever, you know, prayers prayers I uh, I'm gonna tell you guys something I might look like a rough and tough and tumble guy around the corner but boom all up in the boom up up in the grill but let's be honest all right I'm a softy I'm a softy for my mom I love her so much when I was young growing up I always loved her like unbelievable love for her she was just and still is I'm so blessed to have her around still and I cherish every moment remember that but when I was young there's one thing I never did I never did it I never said I love you to her never I probably said it I just don't remember saying it and if I did it wasn't many times even to my father I never said it either you know growing up our parents are are disciplinarians I hope I said that right and you know even though you love them you have that resent inside of you. Like, why are they always stopping me from having fun? Why don't they want me to have fun? Why don't they want me to do this? Why don't they want me to spend lots of money and party and do whatever? Now as a father of two, I call them my babies, even though they're growing up now. They're still very little. My uh, son just turned four and my daughter's six. I, uh, I hope, actually they say I love you to me all the time, which is beautiful, that melts my heart. But back to the topic. You know, when I was young, I never said I love you too much. And then one day I was chilling in the neighborhood, talking to my friend John, all right? John lost both his parents one after another. It was very sad and he was young. He was in his, well, he lost one parent when he was in high school. And I think one when he was like 20 something, all right? He, him and his brother grew up with no, like their late teens and early twenties with no parents. So one day we were at the bar. John was drinking. I was drinking then. And he goes, Danny, let me ask you a question. You ever tell your parents I love you? I'm like, John, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I did. He goes, listen, if you think you, you, if you have to think that hard, you probably never did it. He goes, do me a favor. Start saying I love you to, my, to your parents. Start. Yeah, of course I love my parents. Are you crazy? I'm like, but do you say I love you? I'm like, John, I don't know. I don't think I ever did. It's not easy for those words to come out. And he goes, I know. He goes, I'm the same as you. It's just hard to say I love you. You know, there's uh, there's parents that don't even say it a lot either. But they love you, of course. Your parents love you. Of course they love you. But what I'm saying is that John said to me, listen, you know both my parents are gone, right? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, I never told them I love you that I can remember and it tears me up every day and John was crying he had tears in his eyes telling me this at the bar John was a tough mother effort big dude he'll slap all he'll slap someone's head right off their neck he's a just a tough guy but a good guy but no slouch no no punk he had tears in his eyes at the bar and then I teared up too you know what I did the next day I gathered up the courage and I told my parents I loved them. They were like, they they thought like, whoa, what's going on? Are you in trouble? You know, are you going to jail? Are you, something happened? And I, I saw the look in their face of shock. They didn't say those words, but they were very happy and they smiled and they said it back. We need, even though we show our parents we love them, try and say it to them, guys. And if you have a relationship that's not so good with your parents, best unless they did some bad things to you you know like bad things not if they didn't let you have any money they didn't buy you the new car you're
your mommy got mad at you because you came inside the house with oily clothes, some dumb shit like that. People like that are just weak, all right? People that cut off their parents for some spoiled bullshit, weak. Weak, weak, weak-minded people, weak-minded people. Please, everybody, do me a favor. And I think most of my subscribers are around my age and older. If you haven't told your parents you love them, just tell them. Don't show them. Don't show them. Tell them. If you have a beef with your parents that's stupid, unless something bad happened, like very bad guys, like with touching or some weird shit, which that probably doesn't happen a lot, some weird shit, go tell your parents you love them, all right? Because you never, 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 never know when it's the last time you're going to see them. Those beautiful people that brought you into this world, beautiful people, all right? To all the mothers out there that have lost children, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to lose children before you, you know? And to and the people that slander family members that are gone and say they'll piss on graves and all that shit, man, you're fucked up. But that's, this is not what the topic's about. The main topic today, and this is turned into a sports channel. We all know I'm all about the football now and my team Benfica. By the way, they won 5-0. 5-0. Well, I wish they did that more during the season. They would have been champions. But the point of this video is, because I got to get off and start speeding soon. The point of this video is tell your parents you love them. Forget about showing. You could show them too. But they need to hear those words and it'll make them feel better. My parents saved me. They're two of them are part of the people why I'm still here and a few other people but mainly them and a couple of other people why I'm still here and I will forever love them and that's that but I'm gonna tell you something you don't have to say nothing in the comments if you did or you didn't and I'm sorry I'm not the greatest at responding to comments I have a good comment crew here and there's a they, my comments are active and I love it I have a good communication with a lot of my subscribers you don't have to if you don't want to today. And I'm sorry if I don't respond right away. I do my best. But please, please, just go and tell your parents you love them. If your parents have cell phones, leave a text it to them. Leave a voicemail. Do something. They'll appreciate it. They'll appreciate it, guys. It's almost like that's that closure in life that you need. You have to tell them you love them. All right? If they never did you wrong wrong like bad bad wrong that's some bullshit but you're a spoiled kid and you're mad at them wrong no be a man grow up be a woman grow up if you're not if you're mad at your parents because they didn't buy you a car when you were 16 you're a clown straight up clown clown but tell your parents you love them all right because we don't know what happens to us after in the afterlife we don't know if we'll ever see them again so the time is now all right people that's it for today danny stories is out other than that, Benfica won 5 nothing. A lot of things going on in the genre right now. You guys probably thought I was going to talk about it today. You know, I think everybody did a good job talking about it already. Uh, I obviously don't like bad things, and I'm about family, and I'm about a bunch of stuff like that. So, for that, that's it. My next video will be about soccer and how much, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, guys, stay safe. Please, I'm begging you, if you haven't, tell your parents you love them all right and have a great day happy mother's day to all the beautiful ladies out there